brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome back to another inspirational Thursday. I pray all is well with you and your entire household. I pray that you're having an awesome day in the Lord. The Lord has an encouraging word for you and for me. Let's taste and see and know that the Lord is good. Before we go into the word of God, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we adore you, we bless you, we thank you for your presence, Holy Spirit. We ask that you would invade and take over this time of, of studying your word, Lord God, tasting and seeing and knowing that you are good, you are good, you are good, and your mercy endures forever. I pray, God, for every viewer, Lord God, that they will be encouraged through your word, that your Holy Spirit will reach into their there are those areas, Lord God, where they need to be uplifted, where they need to be revived, healed, delivered, set free. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father, I decrease from myself and I increase in you. I ask that you be glorified and liberated, oh God, during this time of, of encouragement, Lord God, and just sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, we love you and we thank you and we thank you for every viewer. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let God arise, let him rise, let him arise, and all of his enemies be scattered. Let them be scattered. I just want to bless you guys this morning with a very, 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 very encouraging word of inspiration this morning. I'm excited about sharing the word of God with you all today. We're going to be studying from the book of John today. You all may be familiar with this scripture, John chapter 3, verse 16, and I'll be reading from the New King James Version. If you would like to follow me as I'm reading the scripture, you can. I will also have the scripture up here on the screen, so you can follow me as well. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. My brothers and my sisters, this is a promise that God has given you and I the gift of salvation. So much love and so much power in the gift of salvation. God has sent Jesus Christ himself to walk the earth realm, to put on flesh, to know how it feels in this earthly body, but he did not sin. He went all the way to the cross for me and for you that we are able to accept him into our lives as him being our Lord and Savior. Scripture tells us in John 3, 16, that he said, whoever, whosoever believe in me will never perish, but will have everlasting life. Everlasting life is the life living through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the life of righteousness. If you are not a born, if you're not born again, if you haven't accepted Christ into your life, today is your day to accept him. You don't have to no longer live a life without the resurrection Savior. He loves you. He died for you. He was wounded for you. He was bruised. He was chastised just for you, just for me. And he said that whoever, whoever believe in him will never perish, but will have eternal life. You see, my brothers and sisters, we are living in a fallen, dark, dying world. And we're going to have to leave this earth one day. We're not here forever. This is not our eternal place. Of, of residency. We're living here temporarily. We're just passing through. We have a eternal home waiting for us in heaven with our heavenly father. However, those who choose not to accept the Christ, Jesus himself, into their lives, there is another place, a place that I pray that you will never enter into. And that is the lake of fire, that is hell, that is where Satan and all of his demons and every other person that did not accept Christ 
and did not want to partake in the righteous living of Christ Jesus, the saving resurrection power of Christ Jesus, they are in the lake of fire for eternity. So I want to just encourage you. I want to just share, share the gospel, share the good news that Christ, he died. He loved you. He did it all for you. He did it all for me. If you don't have a church home, if you don't know which direction to go, I want to encourage you to Google. Get on Google and Google your, your, your nearest surrounding church. Do your research. Visit the churches so you can learn. So you can learn about the gift of salvation. If you're not really sure on how to start this journey, like I said, Google, find your nearest church, make sure that you're praying and seeking the Lord, that you're seeking Him, seeking Him for direction, which church home you want Him to go so you, so you can be a part of, so you can truly, truly understand and know the power of salvation. Of salvation. Salvation is just not accepting Christ and just going ahead and living a life of sin and living a life one foot on the side of the fence and the other foot on the other side of the fence. The Word of God says that we're going to have to either be hot or cold. We're going to have to choose who we're going to serve. So I want to remind you the importance of being in the right church where you are truly being taught the Word of God, that you are truly being led on that straight and narrow, that you are truly understanding and know the power of salvation. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. The Word of God said that whoever believes in me will never perish, but will have eternal life eternal life eternal life today is your day to turn your life over to Christ accept him ask him to come in and to show you the way of righteousness if you backslid and you're in a bad place get back up repent start all over again ask the Lord to make you over again because the word of God says he made all things new. So it doesn't matter where you've been. It What matters is where you are going right now. Right now. Where you are going. Where you're moving forward in the things of God. So that is the power of love that our father has for his children. Jesus did it all for us. His blood that was shed it there is so much power in the blood. And this is another teaching because I could go on and on and on about the power of the blood of Jesus. But Christ has done it for you, my sister. Christ has done it for you, my brother. And I want you guys to be encouraged in the Lord. If you are not saved, I pray that salvation will be your portion. Once you accept Christ into your life, you must find you a church home that is studying, that is teaching and proclaiming the word of God. And not just teaching and proclaiming, but your pastors living a life that they are teaching according to the word of God. You have to be in a place to where you'll be held accountable of walking in the gift of salvation. Truly living a life of righteousness and holiness, sanctification, consecration, purification, holiness. God said, be holy for I'm holy. That's what the word of God says. So I pray the perfect will of God over your life today. That God will be the center and the ruler of your life. That God will be the one to remind you that you are no longer a slave to sin, but you are the child of the beloved. And it's through the gift of salvation. It is through the love of God. It is through the love of God. You guys, it is through the love 
of God. So I want you guys to be encouraged through the word of God. I hope and I pray that everything that the Lord has spoken to you and to me, that it would be a life-changing experience for all of us. You see, my brothers and sisters, this word is not just for you guys. It's for me. I don't just come behind in front of this camera and give you guys a message that it doesn't start with me first. So we all in this together. Be encouraged. Walk in your purpose. And God loves you. And I love you as well. Father God, I just thank you and I praise you for showing yourself mighty and powerful and miraculously. I pray that your power will continue to flow, that the gift of salvation will be the portion of all those who do not know you, God, that they would accept you today into their lives. Oh God, as you being that person, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that they will know what the Father's love is for his children. God, I pray your perfect will that they will connect with the right ministry that will lead them and guide them according to your word, God. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, God, that every person that has fallen short of the glory of God that has backslid, that they're back up again and they're starting all over again with you. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, I thank you for this opportunity. I give you glory, honor, and praise. You be lifted up forever and ever and ever. I love you, God, and I thank you. It is in Jesus' name I do pray. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. I will be seeing you guys real soon in the next Inspirational Thursday. Have a blessed and amazing day in the Lord.